she's too skinny. He's too fat. He is not smart enough to be doing this. I cannot believe she started dating that guy. Why is she making that decision? She will definitely regret that later. She shouldn't be wearing that. He's not good enough to get that position. Who is she to start her own page? She must be a sellout. These words that sting to the core are so painful because we believe them. It's like Neosporin on a cut that hasn't healed yet. The way that most of us deal with this is by bottling it up, hiding it from the world, not telling people for fear of being embarrassed or scared that it's going to be found out that it's actually true. Or maybe we have a single loved one that we tell that will make us feel better and will validate what we're feeling. We seek external validation before doing the internal work that's going to heal our pain from the inside out. We also may want to respond with the criticism out of pure emotion, out of pure wanting to defend ourselves, our character, and our intention. Sometimes we want to gain that hater back and try to maybe get them back into our world or just avoid the reality of the criticism itself. And maybe we even bring ourselves down to the level of that person and we react by criticizing them. Now, does doing that ever really make anything better? All of these reactions are like placing a band-aid on a wound that's bound to reopen again. And that's why you need the right medicine, a cure, not a band-aid. So when you share your story with a friend, to your social accounts, to your network, to people that you know, this is actually you being your highest self. When we recognize that hurt people hurt people and we choose not to add more hurt, this is us being our highest selves. You know what happiness is? It's the pathway and the journey and the process to becoming our highest selves. When what we receive is judgment and criticism and what we respond with is love and compassion, that is us being our highest selves. So when we act as our highest selves would in any given situation, we're taking the path to authenticity and happiness. So when practiced often, these actions will bring you closer and closer to being a powerful, loving, influential, and authentic human being. So let's open up our arms and our hearts to judgment and criticism. Allow it to flow freely into our days as it will. It's going to sting and it's going to be a sharp shooting pain. But as you practice being your highest self, that pain will dissipate every single time. And what happens next is that it builds a strong layer on top of the wounds and we can become even more confident in our mission and purpose. So don't let the fear of being seen, judged, or criticized stop you. Let it empower you. Let them judge us. Let them misunderstand us. Let them gossip about us. Their opinions are not our problems. We stay kind, we stay committed to love, and we stay free in our authenticity. So don't let it stop you. Let it empower you.